Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. The Dallas Cowboys are on the field as we speak right now. We're getting to see some of the clips from practice. Yes, that's right. We sitting here talking about practice. Not, not the game. Not the game. We talking about practice. And I have to say... My observation from a couple of clips that I've seen here, and we're going to be doing, what, what I will do is, um, you know, it's amazing what you can do with software and things. Um, I've got a couple of clips of Tyler Guyton one-on-one um, uh, -on -one drills, as well as 11-on-11. Um, 11-on-11 11. 11 on 11 against Micah Parsons. The first thing that you will notice about Tyler Guyton is, that boy is big. That boy is real big. I don't know what they've been feeding him, but he is literally like an eclipse. When the guy hits him in the first clip there, you just see this mountain of a man that you look like, get in my belly. No, okay, but seriously. He locks on. Now, I'm afraid. Now, now again, this is just the first day of padded practice, okay? I'm looking at how he locked in and locked on the guy to start out with, right? And he did not get free. He was locked down. Knowing the officials that we have out there, they will probably be calling holding penalties. The only thing I will say is Tyler in that first clip absorbs the shot. He really absorbs it and gets quite a bit upright. And see, the problem is, is when you get upright, generally speaking, it's the low man that wins. Problem is, Tyler Guyton is so damn big, it's hard for him to get down low. But with the size and strength that he has, hopefully he'll be able to overcompensate there. Yeah, that's a lion. That's the screensaver here from Google today. Okay, it's kind of fitting. Because in the second clip, what I did was, it was actually Tyler Guyton going against Micah Parsons. And watch what I did with the clip here. And you tell me if it's good. And we'll come back and talk about it. One thing I don't normally do a lot of, okay, and this partially by design and partially because I'm just an idiot, is doing a lot of editing. And see, I have to give shouts out to, to like Skywalker Steel and Vosh Lombardi, DMV, L, you know, uh, Law and Nation and Game Time Brian that do actually film, study, and break down. First of all, every time I try and do it, I always get copyrighted. Uh, the YouTube police and the NFL police always get me and copyrighted, and I'm scared to death to get copyrighted. So I, one, I don't do a lot of it because I'm scared. Ah, that's right, I'm a little scared bitch, that's okay. Um, but second thing is, is I ain't got the time. You know, um, I'm 58 years old. My window is getting shorter by the minute. And so I got a lot of different shit to do. And so for me to sit down and edit a video, that's why there's mistakes. So sometimes the sound is jacked up. You get <laughs> because I forgot to turn the sound down on the webcam and it just, <laughs> you know, you get that kind of stuff. Okay. Or um, I just forget to turn the sound on and I'm sitting here. Okay, so I'm going to try and do better this season. We're going to try and upgrade a couple of things. We're going to try and give you a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to start doing with the big screen, the, the tele, basically the Telestrator, the Telestrator and stuff uh, for you guys as well. It will be like Madden. Boom! Okay. So did you like how I zoomed in and slowed it down? Did you like that? <clears throat> 
because you could actually then see, you hear the, boom, but you hear the, poof, right? You hear the, poof when they hit. And see, that's that collision. Oh, I miss those days. There's nothing like the sound of the pads, you know, when they hit. You know, it sounds like a gun. Bam! Okay, when that real big hit goes in. But you saw how what Tyler did with the speed that Micah Parsons has, okay? Micah Parsons can get low, low, low. He gets low to the ground. He dips that shoulder, and he's able to use that speed to get on around you. But did you see how Tyler Guyton, his feet were quick enough to keep up with him? That needs so big because literally when he takes a step, it's like taking half a block. It's a half a block when he takes a step. But seriously. He moved his feet and his hands. He kept his hands in contact with him and basically washed him past the quarterback. And if you can get that, and with him practicing against Micah Parsons in practice, this is trial by fire. This is great to have great competition out there. Now, people, of course, you know, we're talking about practice here. You know, they'll talk about, oh, man, you know, Dak Prescott threw an interception in practice. Oh, man, you know, uh, get a Trey Lance through interception in practice. We sitting here talking about practice, guys. Not, not the game. Not the game. We talking about practice. And in practice, you are working on things that you may not be great at. That's why you're working on it in practice. And you also have to understand, depending on the drills, if they're made for the offense to get to work or the defense to get to work. And you also have to say, the Dallas Cowboys secondary is really good. Is really good. They didn't get interceptions by being bad. They got interceptions because they're really, really good. And so as the old saying goes, Iron sharpens iron. And we definitely getting a lot sharper because we got some people that are going after it. And uh, I dare say, if Tyler Guyton can continue to progress from where we were talking about two weeks ago, that he, he might not be ready to start day one, to him handling Micah Parsons, whoa, daddy. That's good things, man. That's good things. He definitely has the size. Looks like he's got the quickness and the agility. He's young. And hopefully, this will be another one of those offensive linemen that the Cowboys drafted that ends up being an all-pro. You can say what you want about a lot of the things that the Cowboys do and their shortcoming, but drafting offensive linemen in the first round, you can't say anything bad about those guys. They are really, really good. <laughs> Unlike, say, like the Giants. Mm. Ed O'Neill. I mean, uh, Evan Neal, ooh, they about ready to run him out of town. Ooh, ooh, what was the other one that they had they drafted in the first round? The human turnstile? Ooh, ooh, yeah. All right, good people, we'll be up here talking more about practice. Peace.